I am an opportunity for recovery today. My name is Nate. Um, seven months ago, I, uh, I felt pretty hopeless. I mean, I um, came from a dark place where I could never imagine like living another day. It, it, you know, like a lot of thoughts were like juggling in my mind. And I was trying to think to myself, like, what can I do to better myself? Like, what can I do to become a better person in society and, you know, for my family and for my own sake? Well, a friend told me about a program called Amber's Place. And I uh, moved all the way out from New Bedford, Massachusetts with probably a trash bag and a duffel bag full of clothes. I mean, I was scared, lost, and I really didn't know like what I was getting myself into but where I am today it's just like I look back and it amazes me I'm, I'm thinking like I never thought I had the courage or the hope to actually like become somebody that helps somebody else in recovery and after volunteering for the last six months for Hope for New Hampshire um you know it helped me create myself and find myself and you know become a better person. What I, uh, what I learned more about myself though is like, I have a big heart for people and you know, since people reached out to me and helped me so easily and you know, opened their hearts, their homes and their hands for me, I just, I, I decided, you know, like what's the best gift than to give back? So, I, um, I I basically just you know took took everything I've learned in the last six months and you know I, I came out here not knowing a goddamn thing like I just said um, but one thing that I had on my mind was you know all the friends that I lost family members that I lost um, you know because I was selfish and I decided that drugs were more important than myself. Knowing that like a year before I actually came out here, a very close friend to me that I considered a brother my whole life passed away from an overdose. And that's where it hit hard. And that's why I just choked up. Um, you know, there's a lot on my mind when I get into the discussion, but it just, it feels good to express where I'm at now and like where I stand as as a person in recovery because like seven months like I never thought I'd make it that far like I do it for him I do it for me and I do it just to be a role model for everybody around me like to show them like yo this is really possible like th this could happen um you know I, I like I said like I can't stop saying it like I I, I really never thought this could happen like it, it just amazes me um you know, I, I have a job now working with two of my great friends over at Manchester Mental Health. Like, six, seven years ago, I was on the other side of the table in a crisis center. And now, I'm, you know, talking to people, relating to people, and, you know, telling them that there's, a, there's another side of the bridge here. Like, you don't always have to, like, you know, feel frightened and feel discouraged and just want to jump off. Like, you don't have to feel lost. Like, there's always a map someone's willing to hand you. And... You know, you can take that and just run and and just never look back because, you know, like, that's something I still do to, to, till today. Like, I look back and I'm just like, yo, like, like, this kind of scares me. You know, that kind of, like, makes me feel a certain type of way. But you know what? It's just like, if I could be the man I once was coming out here, knowing I had nothing but clothes and a wallet that had not a lot of cash in it, not knowing where I was going to live, what I was going to eat that day, and you know everything can change and turn around for the better. I mean, I highly encourage everybody, you know, to kind of support and help this movement because, you know, like, I'm just one out of, like, thousands and hundreds of thousands of people that suffer from addiction, and it's just, it's real. Like, it's real than you could ever thought because I was the kid that grew up, yeah, I was troubled, but I never, ever, ever thought I would ever become addicted to drugs. Well, you know, it's real. It happens. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. It's bad decisions. It, it's, you know, people, places, and things. That's the best thing I've ever heard because, you know, you are 
who you hang around, and I truly believe that. So, with that being said, I highly encourage everybody to just, you know, just support the movement.